Hey guys, this is Matt Core from ControlPaint.com. And in today's video, we're going to continue talking about brush control. And this time we're going to put it into practice in a larger drawing. Your assignment is going to be to copy this geodesic dome. And don't worry, I know it's a very complicated shape, but I'm actually going to provide the line work as well as color swatches for you to get started. So all you have to worry about is your brush control. Because if we take a look at the end result here, you can see a couple things. There are large flat facets, each of which have their own value. So they're essentially flat color leading up to the edge where they bump into another flat color. So here you'll be testing painting large areas of flat color with no visible brush strokes with sharp edges between the two. And if you want to add some more detail to yours, by all means, go for it. So the only thing I'm giving you here is a flat image. You're going to be painting completely over top and are going to eventually cover up all the line work. But this is going to be a great test of your ability to do temp layers and to have good, clean brushwork. So you can use any kind of brush you want. So here I've jumped ahead and I'm about halfway through the illustration. And you can see that all of my progress is done on a single layer. That's because I've been working in temp layers and then flattening as I go. So I'm going to select a hard round brush. And I'm going to use the eyedropper to sample from the color that's provided on the line work. Now the key here is going to be drawing with large strokes to get that even rendering, painting way outside of the lines, and then erasing away what you don't need. And I'll erase probably with a hard round brush. And if you find it's hard angle to have, you can actually rotate the canvas and draw at a more natural angle to your arm. So I've drawn way outside of the lines and I'm erasing away. Now when I come to the next area of color, I've actually already saved myself some time. Because if I'm smart, I'll take advantage of those hard edges I've already created. So now I'm going to make a new layer underneath the layers that I've already painted. And I'll select this color from the swatch. And now I can't go wrong on these three edges because I've already defined those with the rest of the painting. The only places I can go out of the lines here are on the right side. So I'll need to use my eraser here as well. So I'm not using any lassos or marquees of any sort. I'm just painting and erasing. And then once you've covered most of the canvas with paint, it might be time to come in and do some cleanup work. So here, if you've left some lines a little bit visible, you can use the click shift click method to pull a straight line. And that'll help really clean up those edges. And this is when you'd zoom in and do your fine detail work and make it as clean as you want to. And potentially you even want to make those edges a little bit more interesting and give them a little bit of roundness. So I could, add a tiny bit of highlight that's being caught on the edge of that form. Maybe that's too much, so I'll erase it away a bit. So when you're done with this assignment, you should have a very clean image with no lines showing. And the things you want to think about are to have clean brushwork, no visible mark making. Another thing you're going to want to think about is the way that your two areas of value meet up. What is the edge quality? And for this drawing, it should be primarily sharp edges. And finally, just use the brush and the eraser tool. You're not going to need to use any other tools for this assignment. So if you've been having trouble making clean rendering, you're not alone in this. This is something that many artists struggle with. So assignments like this will hopefully show you that you're very capable of making flat, smooth looking rendering. It just takes some different technique. So good luck, have fun, and thanks for coming to controlpaint.com.